Tyler Honeycutt, UCLA sophomore forward, uh, coming off those two wins, kind of just talk about them in general and, and what it's like to kind of get back in the win call. Um, it was, you know, good. Um, could have been a little bit better during the Oregon State game, considering, you know, we got out to a really good, really good start and kind of let off and made it a game, um, you know, a lot closer than we wanted to be. You know, yeah. a few possessions go wrong and we end up, you know, losing that game maybe. Um, and in the Oregon game, you know, we got off to a slow start. Um, you know, they got a lot of stuff in transition. It was even hard for us to match up. Yeah. You know, Reeves got in foul trouble. Um, a lot of things just weren't going our way. And, you know, they got up, you know, 12. And we just sat back and just, you know, talked and figured out what we needed to do. Um, just buckle down and do everything that we needed to do to win. And, you know, by halftime, we got it down within three. And yeah. we had the momentum going into the half and just continued to to do what we did well. You know, uh, Coach talked something about putting together two good halves in a row, yeah. you know, going up 17, one one half, and then bringing up, or, you know, them coming back, and then the same thing, the opposite, yeah. the next game. What is that about? I mean, is it about complacency at times? Is it about focus? Um, yeah, I was thinking a little bit about it's about focus and just being a young team and not understanding, you know, if we put a team away, away, then, yeah. you know, we can, you know, have fun out there and, you know, get fast breaks and, you know, do the, the things that we like to do without yeah. having to worry about, you know, making mistakes and having the game real close. Uh, you know, Tyler, obviously the, the big story out of that Oregon game was, was Jeremy Anderson and his kind of mini resurgence. Talk about, you know, the role that he's played on this team so far this season. And also, well, I'll get to the next part after. Talk about his role. Uh, I think his role has really improved. Um, He's just, you know, playing with more confidence. I think, you know, just us um, getting a lot of shooting in, him seeing results with it. Um, like his, his confidence, especially just starting from the SC game, is really, you know, just skyrocketed. Um, and it came, you know, it's come at a good time, you know. Um, we're tied for a second in, I think, the Pac-10, and, um, you know, we're trying to go on a winning streak. And him playing well like that, especially when other people aren't playing well, um, that's what I think our team does better with, you know, we're having everybody yeah. evenly scored, you know, 10 through 15, 16 yeah. points. You know, uh, rappers have uh, hype men, you know, guys who just are, are specifically there to get them pumped, to get them stoked. Does, does Jeremy Anderson kind of need a guy like that? I mean, are you or other players on the team, you know, does it have to be in your head to, to get him pumped, to get him excited, to kind of congratulate Jeremy? Yeah. Um, no, he's really kind of can be our hype man a lot of the time. Okay. You know, he's really an unselfish guy. You know, he'll have three points and we'll take a victory. And, you know, he's as happy as can be. Um, like, especially being a junior, you know, most juniors, you know, want to take the leader yeah. position. And he's fine with, like, whatever role that he needs to, you know, to play for us to win. Yeah. Uh, Tyler, talk about a little bit about the new court uh, up in Oregon. You played on both, obviously. And yeah. Just the, the biggest change, I guess, from year to year. Um, I think it was a little more harsh in, uh, in the old gym. Um, you know, the fans was, were? Yeah. Really? A lot, a lot smaller. Uh, when they went on a run, it actually felt like the building was shaking. You know, this, the new gym is bigger, um, so, you know, it's not as on top of you. Yeah. Um, but it's, you know, one of the nicest gyms that we played in. It's like almost like an NBA gym, um, which is, you know, a little bit smaller. But the court is, you know, I like the court. It's, you know, bouncy. I like the rims. It's a nice atmosphere. To, to pull out a win like that at a place like that, is that the kind of thing that you think can kind of be a springboard in a lot of ways, just in terms of, I guess maturity and, and this, you know, down deep in your gut, being able to pull out a win like that. Yeah, uh, I think it really started with Kansas. Um, okay. Um, that's probably the hardest place that you can really play, um, especially them being, you know, on the winning streak for three, four years and us being so close to that game. So every bucket that they made was, you know, seemed like it was the winning bucket because you really couldn't really hear yourself thinking at that time. Um, yeah. So I think that just set the tone. And let us know really that nothing's gonna, it's not gonna really get any harder than that. All right, awesome. Thanks, man. No problem.